Hi everyone, uh, welcome to uh, another Table Talk. So um, I, I just wanted to share with you sort of uh, some customization that I've done to my FlySky FSI 6 uh, transmitter to uh, just to better sort of fit my hands and the way I like to handle my uh, transmitter. Very, uh, very inexpensive uh, little upgrade for me. Um, but it's, it's uh, I've had two or three flight sessions now uh, since I first started experimenting with uh, the modification and it's really starting to feel uh, comfortable in my hands. So essentially I'll just show you, I, this is, I fly with, uh, with a modified uh, pinch uh, method I guess or pinch method. So I tend to hold my transmitter uh, you know and, and I, I uh, work my sticks with sort of my thumb and index finger on each hand. I have my other uh, sort of my middle finger up here so that if I needed to flip a switch or whatever and then uh, sort of my two hands or my two my, my um, ring finger and my pinky uh, sort of on the back and I, I sort of support with just some gentle pressure um, you know using the palm of my hands here uh, so this is the method I've been using for several years now and I find it works really best really well for me it allows me to have uh, just the best precision and control over my sticks for, for flying uh, smoothly. So <clears throat> what I was starting to notice, now I, I, I fly a lot uh, and most of my sessions are probably uh, you know about a dozen flights uh, so five minutes of flight I'm essentially holding my transmitter and flying for nearly an hour every time I go out and what I was starting to find was the uh, this, this transmitter, the case, uh, is about a half an inch uh, narrower than my Turnigy 9X, which is, you know, has long been my my uh, my primary transmitter and, and still essentially is. Uh, but I have been flying a lot more uh, evaluating this FlySky FSI 6. So what I was finding was, as I was flying, uh, because I'm predominantly left-handed, I you know I would have the good uh, grip and the good pressure here. But because this was so much narrower, I ended up a lot of times sort of with my right hand almost off the transmitter here. And I, and I started to find it just, you know, after half a dozen or more flights as I was flying, um, uh, the more and more I flew using this transmitter, I just, it just didn't quite feel comfortable to me. And it didn't, uh, you know, I didn't feel like I was uh, at one with the transmitter, I guess, if you want. So anyway, I took some measurements. Uh, surprisingly enough, um, you know, from, from stick to stick, both these transmitters are exactly the same, uh, this, this way. Uh, so what I did find was that in total, this, this transmitter is about a half an inch, uh, the Turnigy 9X is about a half an inch wider. Uh, and, you know, I mean, I don't have huge hands, but I have fairly, fairly big hands. Uh, so what I decided to do was initially, uh, and <clears throat> you probably saw the first picture right after the intro, uh, I just... I took some six millimeter, um, or you know, about quarter inch uh, foam. Uh, I think I just used uh, model plane foam. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Six millimeter foam, and I just sort of uh, duct taped that on the side just to sort of get a feel. And I flew with that for a couple sessions, and it actually felt uh, pretty good. So then I had to figure out a way to, uh, you know, more permanently uh, attach it and uh, make it a bit more uh, durable. So um, what I did was, this is actually uh, like a, uh, um, I guess it's sort of a rubberized foam. It's, a, it's, a it's actually just a shelf liner or you can you find them uh, sometimes in hardware stores, you know, to line the drawers of uh, big toolboxes so that your tools don't slide around. And uh, strangely enough, the reason that I bought this was my car is a hatchback and so I have the back seats uh, uh, flip down when I go to and from the field and it's just carpeted there in the back and, and uh, uh, about a month ago I guess I was you know driving to the field and uh, I don't know if it was a deer or something uh, anyway I, I, I had to hit the brakes pretty hard and my one of my flight boxes slid forward and did a little bit of damage to one of my planes so I purchased a couple rolls of this stuff and uh, just laid it down uh, you know I didn't attach it in my car or anything I just laid it down so that when I put my planes in my toolboxes it, uh, it, it's really, uh, nothing slides around. So anyway, I used that as inspiration. So what I ended up doing was I took the pieces of foam that I had on here and uh, I just cut some, uh, some of this stuff uh, essentially to fit. I just trimmed it off one of the pieces I had in my car. And then I, I just hot glued it onto the pieces of foam. And it actually, 
is it's about uh, I don't know I would say a couple millimeters thick and it is sort of a bit soft and spongy and uh, you know has a bit of a textured uh, finish but it, it, it's quite rubbery but it's not like super you know that your hands can't move on it so um, glued that on there and then what I did was I split the the pieces of foam down the center so I've got a bit of a gap here so that if I ever have to take the trans the back off the transmitter I can still do that and I was very careful to make sure I didn't get any glue in the in the seam there where the transmitter uh, goes together and essentially I just used hot glue uh, seems seems to work out just fine so now I've had a couple of sessions with it and it feels really really good in my hands it feels much better uh, than it did before so like I said I probably widened it uh, the case by a total of about a half an inch uh, so that's working out really well uh, the other thing I did is perhaps in uh, previous videos I may have mentioned it I had talked about experimenting with uh, sticks and what I was finding was um, especially after I, I widened the case is I found the sticks felt a little bit too short and my index finger was going down a little bit too deep down into the uh, into where the um, the sticks are so um, I had purchased um, some uh, uh, some sticks from Hobby King. I can't remember if they're JR or Futaba. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll have the link down below. They were on sale. So what I looked at was, and I know it's going to be uh, a bit difficult for you to see here. Uh, the blue one is the one I got from Hobby King, and this red piece. This was the bottom piece that came stock with the uh, transmitter. So this blue piece is about two millimeters because the sticks the sticks are actually uh, in two pieces. So what I did was I kept the top part uh, that came with the transmitter because it's, it's got a really aggressive uh, spike on the end of it and I really, really like that. So all I did was I screwed uh, the longer piece uh, down. Uh, I actually found some red ones, you know, to sort of match, but uh, it doesn't really matter. So uh, what I've been, essentially I've done is I've raised the total height of my sticks now by about uh, two millimeters. So now when I fly, my index finger, it just kind of gently sort of glides along this, uh, this circular uh, faceplate here, uh, so it feels uh, a lot better. So yeah, so there we go. Uh, again, um, just customizing it to fit, my, uh, to fit how I like my transmitter to feel. Uh, so I just wanted to share that idea with you. Like I said, it cost me next to nothing. I think a roll of this, or you could find just about anything. Uh, uh, you don't necessarily need to use the rubberized bit, but I, you know, rather than m messing around painting the foam black because it was white foam, uh, I thought this worked out really well. And it, it actually provides almost a little bit more cushioning, so it really feels the the transmitter really feels good in my in my hands. And then by lengthening these sticks by a couple millimeters, uh, worked out really well. So there you go, folks. Uh, just like I said, just a, a inexpensive uh, little. Um, uh, customization on my FlySky FSI6. Uh, I'm really enjoying this transmitter. I've actually picked up a couple more receivers to uh, to put in a couple of other planes, you know, so that I have uh, more planes to fly with this transmitter. Uh, I picked some up on eBay that were actually a little bit cheaper than what Banggood wants for them, so I'll share that link down below as well. So uh, there we go. Uh, thank, thanks again for watching and following me along in this uh, in this journey. Uh, again, like I said in my last video, really, really enjoying this uh, FlySky FSI6. I think, you know, for uh, an introductory radio or even one that you can uh, grow into for a while, it's uh, really tough to, uh, to beat this transmitter. So, thanks very much for watching. Blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Park jet noise. The other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.